హలో ఫ్రెండ్స్ వెల్కమ్ టు జావా ఈ ఈజేపి జేపిఏ ట్యుటోరియల్ నౌ యు ఆర్ వాచింగ్ పార్ట్ సిక్స్ ఆఫ్ ది సబ్ సీరియస్ జేపిఏ వన్ టు మెనీ అండ్ మెనీ టు వన్ రిలేషన్ ఇన్ ద ప్రీవియస్ ఫైవ్ వీడియో వి లుక్ డాట్ ది ఎంప్లాయీ పోర్షన్ ఆఫ్ ది జాయిన్ so employee many maps to one job and we persisted the employee and while we persist the employee we picked the existing job and achieved the relation now what we will do we will try to create a new job then we will try to assign employee to that created new job so simply speaking in the previous five videos we created new employee we kept job as existing one now we are going to create new job then we will try to assign employee to that new job role here are the p requisites let's quickly review the previous five video slides first we talked about the database tables then we created entities for employee and job we also marked the entity with uh, one to many and many to one annotations after that we gone to the workflow of creating the new employee first uh, we created the bin methods add employee and query jobs then we implemented the bin methods after that we gone to the jsp to display a form to the user so that they can fill the data and submit it to the create employee servlet and the servlet will contact the bean layer and thereby uh, the bean layer makes use of the entities employee and job and persist the employee information into the database all right so in the remote bean here we are adding a three methods one is add job it takes job description minimum and maximum experience level then it will add the job to the database then we will have methods for query employees this will query all the employee and returns back to the caller then query employee for a given job id say for example if job id denotes a editor then all employee who plays the editor role will get returned by this query employees function here is the bean implementation for query employees we create a jpa sql select from employee here employee is the entity alias is e and so that's the syntax for jpa sql you, we have a separate sub series for jpa you can look into that for more information but this is easily understandable select from employee here employee is not a table it is a entity name and the alias is e and here we are giving that alias e here after that we are creating a query from entity manager entity manager dot create query and we pass this uh, jpa sql and we will uh, retrieve a query then from query we make a call to get result list because we know the query will return one entity or it may even return multiple entity so definitely our employee table contains more than one employee so we will get uh, 
multiple employees and that's why we are casting that as a list of employee so this is a java.util.list so collection employee collection we, we are retrieving and we are storing that here and to the caller we are retrieving the collected uh, employee entity list next we go to add job method or job method if you say it takes uh, job description minimum experience and maximum experience all these three will come from the uh, form that we will design in the next coming videos for now the requirement for this um, uh, bean method is add job is the method and it looks for these three information and once the job is created it will give back the created job so in this is snippet we are creating a job new job then after that we are accessing the setter method to set job description minimum and maximum experience so these are all flowing from the parameters and we are setting that to the job entity so this we commented out why because here we are creating the job and there is no underlying database field and so if you need you can set the employees to null but here since it doesn't harm we commented it then we are making call to amp dot persist after that we are returning the uh, job to the caller so what happens here in the database if you see we have a key field this key field is referred by the external employee in the pops database the employee table will refer this and from here at the database level we won't refer back the employee or when we write the query we can make use of this key field and we can refer back and in the jpa annotation if you see we use the mapped by attribute and we does not define any special field in the database for this uh, um, one to many annotation here we are marking it with uh, one one job to many employee right and here we used mapped by and we doesn't use any join column so there is no join column in the database so that's why we uh, set the employee array as empty for now and next we are persisting the job and this will create a new job that means entity manager will create a new job with the job description minimum experience and the maximum experience next we implement the bean method query employees and here we are taking the job id as input parameter then em.find entity manager.find and we are giving this job id whatever we are receiving it here so this will entity manager will scan the database and gets an entity and we will have job here and if you remember our job will have job id description minimum experience and maximum experience as well as employee array so what happens when we find the job the entity manager will fill these details and it will also create entities for employee and populates the array 
here we have in the job entity we have array of employees right so the employees will get loaded or employee entities will be created and they will get collected in the uh, employee array and the job entity will be ready with the field specific to the job as well as information taken from the employee entity i mean the employee table there will be separate entity and they are collected into the array and array get populated once everything is ready that job will get returned that means here we will have job related information as well as the array of employee pointed by the specific row note here we are not creating the new job here here we are uh, querying the employee for the given job id so entity manager finds a job populates the uh, employee array since m uh, entity manager populated the uh, array so null we are not checking here so since it is just demo purpose uh, we assumed that uh, a job given job id will have a uh, employee one or more employee all right so since array is populated here we make use of job job is the job entity get employees we know what it will return if you look at our uh, job entity it returns list of employees based on the mapped by uh, attribute or mapped based on the one to many attribute one to many and we defined employee array right because one job maps to many employee so that's why we had it as a employee array and get employee is the getter method for this one uh, job entity that's what uh, uh, we are returning to the caller list of employee so list of employee is the containment here in the job so this is just a setter met getter method we are invoking and we are giving it to the caller and if you see the major job is done by this find method of the entity manager we are asking to find a uh, job entity by giving the id entity is found and it traverses the link and finds a list of employee populates the array then retrieves the job once the job entity is retrieved we are just uh, getting the employee array since it's a private and we make use of the getter method and we retrieve that uh, list of employee so that's all here now we will go to the demo all right we will go to our uh, beam client before that uh, okay we saw this error in our previous uh, we saw this error in our previous demo also uh, new account now takes more number of parameter and this is a old version of a create new employee we created this snippet as part of uh, sub series 3 okay for now we will delete this why because we have create account html this will work fine and this was created as part of a sub series 4 so we will use this latest version and we will absolute the sub series 3 version we will delete this now we will go to our current sub series m to be in client and the uh, m job be in remote dot java here we will introduce a new method so we will implement an extra set of functionality
So as already explained in the slide, we added uh, three new method for our uh, YAMP job uh, being remote. So for the remote interface, we added these three methods. So in the YAMP bean, if you see, the YAMP job bean now looking for the interface method. So since we introduced three method, now it will say add unimplemented method. So query employee, it will query all the employee from the database and we will get list of employees. That means all the employees from the database. So that's the usage of this method. Next here we are adding a new job. We get, we get all the necessary information as parameter. So we create a new job entity. We said it's a setter method. After that, we will make a call to em.persist. So this will persist the job information into the jobs table. Then for a given job ID, here we are querying the employee and we are returning that to the caller. So here actually uh, we are not checking the null and we are delegating that uh, the caller should check for the null. And uh, since it's just a demo in the caller also, uh, we no need to check the null, we will just check the workflow. If you put validation, the demo will grow much, much bigger. So we will consider the straightforward workflow and see how things work. We will concentrate on learning the database and JPA. All right, that's all here. If you see here, first we are finding the job and for a given job ID. For example, we will go to pubs database. So for a given job, say for example, job ID 4, Okay, only one employee. We will pick uh, some other job ID that contains more number of employees. So operation manager, if you see, there are more number of people who is uh, playing that uh, operation manager role. There are uh, four employees. So when we query for the job by giving the ID 11, there will be four employees. For example, if you come here and in the JPA savings account, Let's open the job entity. The job entity, if you see, it contains the field job ID. Job ID will come from here. Then job description. Job description, minimum and maximum experience. Minimum, maximum experience. Minimum and maximum experience. So it contains one more field. So this field is not there in the database, but a persistent, I mean the entity 
maintains one more field and we mark that with one to many for bidirectional traversal. So for a given job, we need to know the list of employees. So when for this method job ID, if you give 11, what entity manager will do? Entity manager will load job ID 11, operation manager, minimum experience 75 and maximum experience level 150. It will populate all these in the relevant field. Then there is one more field employees. Employees is nothing but a list of employees. And we already decorated it with the mapped by column and one to many. So here this job denotes a field in the employee. And here is the job field and there is a column here so in the reverse way what it will do it will first load this then based on the job id 11 it will back traverse the employee loads the content all these four four separate entity employee entity then it will get collected into the um, into the array so all these stuffs are done by the entity manager itself when we write the uh, em.find method so after this find since employee array is populated if you see here we are simply retaining the get employees here to retrieve all the employees we wrote a query jpa sql query here if required, you can still write a JPA query with a where condition on the employee table. But here we are not using the employee table at all or employee entity at all. Here we are using employee entity right as part of the query. If you want to use employee query like this, then you can write the query with a where condition and uh, the where condition should make use of the uh, job ID filter. But here we are finding the job, then we are making call to the getter method to retrieve the array. Alright, that's all here in the implementation. Let me start and test this once. Started. Now we will add and remove the EJBER, then we will click the finish button here. That's all. Here we are seeing deployed EJBER. There is no issue here while deploying the uh, YAMP job being remote as well as its implementation call as m job b now we will stop this then we will uh, remove it we will stop the wildfly server server is stopped that's all here in this video thank you for watching bye